What's up, YouTube? Uh, coming back at you with another one. Uh, it's after New Year's. It's after Christmas. It's been a while since I've been in front of the camera uh, talking about various things. You know, um, I know it's, uh, this is episode six right here, and um, I want to say Happy New Year to everybody. Hope everybody had a safe holiday season, and uh, give you give you guys a little bit of a. Of a surprise. Uh, hopefully most of you and all of you um, who are watching made it home safely whatever you guys did this summer traveling anywhere anywhere in the United States that you may have gone um, I actually went and the reason why I didn't do any videos up until now was because I went to go see my daughter who's in the Air Force and um, just giving her a little bit of the feel of home so I went to go visit her um, while she's at school and um, yeah, so I stopped by a few places on the way. Shout out to Adam. Thanks again uh, for your hospitality. Um, it's awesome uh, coming to your restaurant. Uh, if you're anybody's ever going through uh, Skiatoke, uh, Oklahoma, if you're driving through there, stop by at Max Barbecue. You won't regret it. Really good barbecue. Um, stop by there. Uh, he's like my brother. Uh, we traded a little bit of whiskey here. Uh, he gave me the Kalamut. Um, I gave him the Henry, the Mc, Mc, Henry McKenna, uh, ten year. Uh, so I feel like I shorted him four years, but I'll get him back um, next time I go up there, which should be by the end of this month. But um, it's really good seeing him. Really good having his food. Like I said, if you're on your way out there, stop by there. Uh, my daughter's in Mississippi. Um, we happen to uh, eat at a restaurant uh, called um, Gump's uh, Bubba Gump Shrimp at the Bubba Gump Shrimp Company. And uh, one thing uh, I've learned on this trip is you got to be careful uh, whenever you're going long distance to different places. People see you're coming from out of town. Doesn't matter if you're coming to California from, from that side or you're going to Mississippi from this side. Doesn't matter. Anytime you're traveling, you gotta you gotta make sure that you uh, watch out for things. Okay? And uh, one of the things that I learned uh, this trip around was that I felt very lucky. Um, it, it ain't gonna sound like it, but I felt pretty lucky when I uh, we went to this restaurant. I went to uh, take her to eat um, she doesn't get much food uh, the good type of food outside type of food uh, it's more on base stuff you know she's kind of restricted to to the base for for that type of food but when she does get time off and she's able to go off base um, then she's able to eat different things but it's rare that she's able to do that she don't have a car so anyways um, we went to Bubba Gum Shrimp um, now I'm not blaming the restaurant for this, but um, it can happen to you, just like it happened to me. Um, gave my waitress the credit card, and she took it to the back, charged it, came back, gave me my card. Now that all seems kind of simple, you know. Uh, you give your, any anytime you go to a restaurant, you don't really think about it, you give your, your waiter, your waitress uh, the the card and they take it over there and then they they charge your card well um, this is the only time this my card has been, ever, had ever been out of my hands during at this time mind you and so I get it back very next day to my surprise was a little over a thousand dollars in extra charges from different places various places that I had I don't shop from and I know I didn't make those charges now, could it have been a coincidence that this one trip, I've had that card like since they gave it to me and I've, it's never left my hand. Like I hardly ever go to a restaurant and, and just give out my card um, like that. Well, this trip I did. Um, I don't go on very many trips unless it's going to go see family or something like that or friends. But uh, so I give the waitress the card, she gives it back, like I said. And again, to my surprise, 
a little over a thousand dollars in extra charges from different various places ranging from $125 to four hundred and I think sixty five dollars on my credit card the only thing I could think at that time was thank God thank God that those charges were on a credit card okay now I know that sounds kind of silly you know but I also have debit cards and I'm pretty sure some of you out there have debit cards and you're like well I mean what's the difference you know I mean not all of you um, maybe some people might be confused and this is this is kind of a PSA for that you know this is my little personal or uh, public service announcement so um, you know I was thinking thank God because if it was actually a debit card or a debit credit card um, that would have came straight out of my bank account and being outside in another state and then having your bank account drained is a little bit different than charges on your credit card you still have your money in your bank you see so um, that's basically what I wanted to do this video on is you know if you're ever out there and you're going on a trip you you're you're uh, gonna go visit family you're gonna go do some things outside the house and it doesn't matter if you're in California Mississippi New York you know um, use that credit card if you're actually gonna hand your card to somebody and they're gonna walk away with it because you might have a surprise uh, once you get that card back in the following day because those charges came quick um, I even got another charge from that old card it was that day it was cut it was I it got charged on 22nd 23rd shut it off with about five or six charges and then on the 30th there was an extra charge that might have slipped through so you just got to be careful um, and uh, just think about uh, that okay credit card yeah you know you can fight that there's nothing that's gonna get in your way I know I had seen other uh, another video where somebody was um, pulled up to a Starbucks and had that same thing happen to her where somebody went and bought $400 worth of groceries and um, the lady found out went back and was able to confront the lady I was in another state I'm not gonna go uh, do the same thing because uh, I didn't have video cameras as she did to be able to plead her case and be able to say yeah that's the person who charged my card because this all this stuff was done on the internet so be careful who you hand your card to and if you have to hand it over make sure it's a credit card that's that's just my opinion uh, that's just what I feel um, I would feel better doing from now here on out um, because I all I could think of was wow what if my bank account was drained rather than that charges on the credit card and not my bank account okay so um, it's good to be back I'm gonna be doing a couple of videos here uh, coming up uh, one is gonna be with my son and uh, should should be should, should be pretty good we're gonna talk we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, what we you know our favorite uh, movies all time uh, I'm gonna go through ten of them he's gonna go through ten of them and uh, I can't uh, wait to see you on the next one appreciate you uh, tuning in uh, if you uh, if you like what you're seeing so far please subscribe uh, make sure you hit that like button and I'd appreciate it appreciate you all thank you have a good day